Salutations, everyone. This is Razor here giving you some domination gameplay on the hijacks using the MTAR typical perk loadout, except instead of tack mask, I have engineer because I believe I didn't have tack mask because I think I had prestiged, which is also why I'm using the MTAR and c -c 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 capture kills. And with that, I get all three of my score streaks, which is uh, pretty boss. Running really low streaks here once again because I just prestiged and I didn't uh, have anything better unlocked at the time. Uh, but that's all right. At least I'm, I'm going to get them all uh, regardless. And I get most of the kills with my gun anyways. Uh, Hell Service and Lightning Strikes can be quite effective on this map, but uh, you're not going to get most of your kills with them. Also got a care package here. Forget what I get. So uh, we'll get to uh, experience that together. So yeah, here using the MTAR here with, uh, I believe it's dual mags and stock. Uh, got that baby customized. Pick up this guardian here, right here. And hijacked is a map I absolutely despise. I despise this map. It is a terrible, terrible, I, I hate it. I hate it so, so much. I can't tell you guys how much I hate Hijacked. I, I hate it more than Nuketown, and I, I hate I hate Nuketown. Um, and I, Hijacked is definitely the Nuketown of Black Ops 2. I know we, we have Nuketown in Black Ops 2, um, but as far as original maps go, and as far as like the, the uh, normal core playlist, Hijacked is what everyone wants to play. I am super duper surprised that there isn't a Hijack 24-7 uh, playlist out yet. Um, I, I, I really think that this will be uh, a, a, its, its own playlist in the future. Uh, I have no doubt about it. Get a nice little double there. Should have been a quad, should have been a quad, but uh, most people are going to be indoors and hijacked if they're not by that B-flag area, especially in Domination, where you got a lot of people love to camp in their own spawn for some reasons. I, I, that's something I, I never understand. Uh, pick up this war machine here. Could have double tapped it, but you know it's a, it's a small map. War machine is a pretty decent kill streak. Not death machine, kind of blows uh, chunks, uh, but the war machine you know is going to get you, you know, four to six kills. And I, just, I, I really don't like hijack, but you know whenever I get a gameplay on it, it's kind of nice because I can show you guys. Uh, the best ways to play hijack because it's the most played map in this game by far. It's what shows up the most, and it's what's voted on the most. Once again, like I said, I'm really surprised there isn't a hijack 24/7 playlist yet because kids love this map. Uh, they always love the smallest maps in the game, and hijacked is definitely the smallest map. Uh, you know, it, it's it's comparable to nuketown except there's no spawn protection if if you you know if you played on nuketown and any game mode outside of demolition you know when you spawn you're usually going to be safe you know not as safe as you would be on you know other maps like you know grid or array or uh i don't know what, what whatever game you're playing you know there are bigger better maps that'll protect you much better when it comes to spawn protection we're just wrecking face here with my uh, my war machine. Uh, but Hijacked has no such thing as spawn protection. Uh, it's, the, it's the easiest uh, map to get spawn killed on in the entire Call of Duty franchise. Um, even more so than uh, what would be the second biggest offender? High Rise. High Rise... I know. High Rise is really easy to get spawn trap and killed. Um, but when it comes to watching people spawn, um, Hijack definitely takes the cake. Um, High Rise had the sh worst spawn trap in COD history by far, um, because there was only one spawn point on either side of the map that, and only two hallways that you could go down. But when it comes to Hijack, there's only two spawn points on, on either end of the boat here, A or C. And if you're, if you have enemies on their side of the map, you know, at, at this case to be C flag. Um, all they need is someone upstairs at A flag and they'll watch you spawn. As long as there's enemies at C, you won't spawn at C. And as long as there's someone camping on top of A or on top of C looking down at the spawn point, they'll watch you all spawn and get you killed. Or, you know, they could be hiding in the, in the kitchens, which is, you know, a very popular tactic. 
uh, especially for our uh, montage makers. And that's another thing I forgot to mention in, in my last video, talking about um, commentaries kind of disappearing and getting stale and everyone doing the same thing. Montagers have kind of all been doing the same thing as well. Uh, you know, of course, not all of them, but when it comes to the most part, everyone's just doing hijack spawn kills in the kitchens with their sniper rifles or uh, on the Nuketown 24-7 playlist. That's, that's, like, that's where almost all of their clips are coming from. And uh, ho hopefully that, that's going to change sometime soon because, oh my gosh, how many freaking times do we have to see someone... <laughs> get a six-man feed with the XPR-50 on hijack, just spawn killing people. It's like, that's not impressive. Montage clips are supposed to be impressive feats of stuff that doesn't happen every day. Not, you know, spawn killing that anyone could do with, with any gun in the game. I don't know. That's that's just really annoying to me because I, I, I like watching, you know, various clans uh, in, their, in their montages and stuff. Um smoking people in whatever call of duty it is you know there, there's always gonna be something enjoyable but my goodness how many times do we have to see people getting spawn killed on hijacked or how many freaking nuke town 24 7 clips do we have to see we get it the map's really small you can get a lot of score streaks with it and uh, i know my uh, my score streaks rolled over here um, a lot of people um, weren't too happy about that in my last gameplay um when i had the an94 out um, but I'm, I'm just in my enemy spawn. I can't really call in my kill streak safely. At least I don't feel that I can. And sorry, I had to pick up this target finder weapon, but needed to use something. And I don't know what the fuck that guy was doing. But so yeah, I'm using low score streaks, so they're going to roll over quite uh, often. And when they, when I say roll over, it means that you already have that score streak, and then you earn it again. And obviously, you don't get to call it in twice. So uh, that's what it means to to roll over your score streak. Which really sucks when you're. Uh, uh, have like a, a, a VSAT or a VTOL or dogs in your back pocket, which does happen, especially if you have other good players on your team that will also get those kind of score streaks. So, uh, you know, you can't always call in a stealth chopper or a, uh, a Reaper if there's already one in the air. And if you're continuing to get kills, uh, those are going to roll over each other. Um, and as far as the MTAR goes, um, I do like the MTAR. It's a it's a nice gun uh, that I don't feel guilty using, and is also uh, not that good in its own right. It's very 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 middle of the road. There's nothing great about it, nothing good about it, like all the other assault rifles. Like with uh, with the M27, what's great about that is no recoil and a fast fire rate. But what's bad about that is low damage. Uh, when you got the Scar H, what's good about that is high damage. But, you know, high recoil. When you get the AN-94, that thing just puts out damage like a motherfucker. And there really isn't any negatives to AN-94. I'll, uh, I'll give it that. It's got a decent reload. And it's got a decent recoil and good handling. What the fucking nerds love to camp in corners, man. Regardless if they're winning or losing, if they're spawn trapping, or if they're going 1-28. Uh, nerds love corners, and I don't understand how that is. that's fun to people, but... I don't know, I guess I'm just not special ed like that, guys. But I like using the MTAR. It's it's a very uh, good gun to to use as you're going through a prestige, at, at least for me, because I don't use SMGs that often. And uh, I just don't really like using a lot of the LMGs. But MTAR is a good starting assault rifle that I can use until I unlock the M27 and the SCAR and the AN94 and the FAL. And I guess the SMR a little bit too. I do use that gun quite a bit, especially recently. But uh, it's not really good at anything, but it's not bad at anything as well. So the final score here is 38 and 6 with 7 captures, 7 uh, defends. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Comments always appreciated. Later days.